Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the label component in Flash. So to get us started, we're going to create an ActionScript 3 document. Then I'm going to import some images for today's tutorial. So I'm going to import to library. Then I'm going to select the images. And then I'm going to click open. And they should be in the library here. So now what we need to do is get the component out. So I'm going to go to Window, Components, and then grab the label component and drag it out. And then while that is selected, I'm going to um, go to the properties. I'm going to add an instance name of my label. All right, now that we've done that, I'm going to start, um, let's set up the timeline. So I'm going to go to timeline, and then we're going to add two layers. And on the first layer that we just put the label on, we'll just call that label. On the second layer, we'll call it images. And on the third layer, we'll call it AS for action script. So we'll put the images layer on the bottom and we'll just lock the other two right now while we're working with the images so we don't move the label the label around. So I'm going to grab the images and just drag them out and then we will position them using the align palette. So I'm just going to drag them out into a relative array here. Close that up and then while we have the align palette out you can get that by going to window and then align. I'm going to select the top two and then I'm going to bump those to the top by clicking that and then I'm going to select the left two and then move them to the left. I'm going to select the right two, move them to the right. Select the bottom two, move them to the bottom. And now they should all be um, in relative um, distance of each other. So I'm just going to take and hold the shift button and then move them so that it kind of resembles like a window pane type um, thing going on here where you have the cross in the middle. So they should be all aligned about perfect now. So I'm going to select them. Then I'm just going to move them around to where I want them on the stage. And that looks about right. And then once I have that done, I can close the align palette. I'll open up the timeline. We'll lock that. And then we'll undo the label one, the label layer. And then we can move the label around. And I'm just going to position that right underneath the images there. Nudge that over. And then I'm going to grab the transform tool. I'm going to move that over to the left, the, um, the registration point, and then I'm going to drag this all the way over and line it up with the other image. So now the label is the same distance as the images are across. So now that we have that done, we can unlock pretty much everything we don't really need. Um, it locked anymore, I just didn't want to move stuff around while I was trying to single out one thing. So what we're going to do now is turn each of these images into a movie clip so we can add uh, actions to them. So I'm going to select the first one, and hit F8 and make sure it's on movie clip right here. And then I'm going to say water, so that's what's in the picture. Then we'll add a property um, with an instance name of water. For this next one, we'll do the same thing. We'll say flowers. Okay. Flowers. Okay. Same thing for the tomato one. Tomato, okay. Properties. Tomato. And then for this last one, which is a fox, we'll say fox. Okay, properties, fox. All right, so now that those each have instance names, we'll be able to add actions to them. So we're gonna start doing that by going to the actions uh, panel here. And the first thing that we're going to do is start styling our label a little bit. So we're gonna say my label, which was the instance name we gave it, dot text field. And the F1 field is capital, dot background space equals space true and then semicolon. So that's basically turning that um, to allow us to change the background. And then I'm going to copy this, paste it on the next um, line here. Then where it says right after background, we're going to say color. And then we're going to say where it says true, we're going to pick a color. So uh, we need a 0x in order to use the hex code. And then I'm just going to say 6Ds, which is, it turns out to be a light gray. And we don't want it to say my label, so we're going to also add some initial text for it before we change it depending on what image is clicked. So I'm going to say my label that text space equals space two quotes and a semicolon and then inside the quotes I'm going to say well please select an image. Oh, not and image and image. Alright, so now we can see what we have by going to control test movie. And you can see it's changed the uh, label to a lighter gray, and then it says please select an image within there. But when we click on images, it doesn't do anything yet, but it will.
So to do that, we're going to start adding the code for that. So we're going to need some uh, event listeners for those movie clips. So we're going to say um, the instance name, which the first one's water dot add event listener open parenthesis. It's a mouse event with a capital M and a capital E dot click all caps and a comma, and then we need a function name and um, we're basically going to be putting in some text that has to do with the water, so we'll just say water txt. Close parenthesis, close, or just a semicolon, and then I'm going to copy this and paste it underneath three times so that we can do it for the other uh, images. So the next one is flowers, then we have tomato, and we have fox. And on this one, we have flowers tomato and fox. Okay, so now that we have that we're going to start adding these functions in. So we'll write the one for water first. So we'll say function function water text and it's going to be space parenthesis event colon mouse event close parenthesis colon void then open curly bracket, enter a couple times, close curly bracket, up arrow key. And then inside of this, we're basically going to change what this my label.txt equals. So we're going to say, we're going to say my label, label.txt, space equals space, a oh, couple of quotes, semicolon, and then inside of this for the water, um, let's just put something like these rapids look. Injurious! Exclamation point. So now it'll change when you click on this. It'll change the label to these lap. These rapids look dangerous. So now let's just write the other functions for the other buttons, or for the other movie clips. And I'll just copy that, paste it three times underneath, and then I'm going to change them, the um, instance names, by double clicking on the function name up here. Or I'm, I'm changing the function name, sorry, uh, by double clicking on the function name. And I'm just going to change them real quick by just copying and pasting those over. Copy, paste. All right, so now we need to basically come up with some text for these images. So for the flowers, let's just put these look pretty. Okay, period. And then for the tomato, um, Let's say these look delicious. How about very delicious? Okay, period. And then for the fox, we'll say, how about something simple? The fox is crossing the road, period. So now we will test it and see if everything's working properly. And we don't have any errors. You'll see it says, please select an image down there. And we click on this, it says these rapids look dangerous. And as we click on each of the other ones, it will show the description that we created for it. So now I'm going to show you something that you can do a little bit different with the label. Um, if you wanted to use, say, HTML text, let's say for um, the tomato one, we'll say HTML text instead of dot text, and the T needs to be capital. And then inside of here, let's say we want to make these words a link. So we'll say, We'll just be using uh, HTML, we'll say bracket a href equals, and then I'm going to be using uh, the um, apostrophes here. And then inside of that, I'm going to say HTTP colon slash slash www.rivercitygraphics.com. Just put my website in there, and then close that. And then after this, we'll put slash a closing bracket there. So now when we do that, oh wait, first before we uh, do that, um, a note that I wanted to make is that links in Flash, at least for this method, will not show an underline. So we should probably put in an underline by doing a, putting a U in brackets and then a slash U in brackets. And that will put an underline on it. So if we do control test movie, we click on the tomatoes, you'll say these look very delicious. And you click on it and as you see, it will bring up my site there. So, I mean, it's not a practical site to go to for clicking on tomatoes, but I just needed an example. So, um, other things you can do if you just wanted to add in, like bold, you can just put brackets around um, a B and then a slash 
the brackets and then you can see when we click on that one it'll sh turn it to bold oh wait yep see we didn't change this to HTML text so just rendered that as regular text so once we change it to HTML text then it will show bold text there so this is um the label is a pretty uh, interesting uh, component um, you may find it easier to just use a dynamic text field you may want to use the label um, if you were um, taking things in dynamically the label could be good to show dynamic descriptions instead of taking and typing them all out in action script like we have um, but uh, it can be pretty helpful so uh, I hope you guys learned something about the label component in this tutorial hope you subscribe rate and comment and don't forget to check back tomorrow for the next component tutorial thanks